Yes, you see it, it's time. Again, before we even address anything in this video, I wanna say thank each and every one of y'all for getting me to 100 subscribers. Now, I'm not a big milestone person, it doesn't really matter to me. I just, I enjoy doing this to be like, you know, honestly, I, I enjoy doing this. But back to the, the topic at hand. So today, yes, we are going to rank every single bow. Ones that aren't exotic are really gonna go off of perk pools. That's what we're gonna kind of go off of. Yeah, just to kind of make this simpler. On one screen, I have like all the perk pools for one thing, and other screen, I have the actual, you know, thing itself. So yeah, let's just kind of get into it. So uh, yeah, we have, you know, like the standard S, A, B, C, and D tier. S tier being the chef's kiss tier. A tier being, you know, it's not chef kiss, but it's it's as good. B tier being, it's mid. C tier being, it, it's shit, but it, it's not it's not too shit. And then D tier being is absolute dog shit. So first things first, let's go off the wish ender. So the wish ender never really used this bow. Believe it or not, I'm the bow master, but I don't use everything. The Wish Ender is a, it's a pretty cool bow. Uh, I, don't, I know the gimmick of it, right? So you, you can see through people, you can see people through walls, and it has a really slow draw time. I'm gonna say A tier because honestly, the Wish Ender I, I would say is a really good support bow. Like you don't really have to be the star of the show, but as a bow lever, you don't always have to be a star of the show. So yeah, like this would be a good little bow if you're like, hey, say, bro, it's a guy peek in the left corner or something like that's what this bow is used for so a tier for that uh next bow that that we have on the list is the le Monarch. this is this is an s tier bow that's not even a question i don't i don't even know why come on now this s tier bow this really should be an x rated tier bow i, I should put tier bow this name x tier honestly because with this bow equipped it on like i would say like a warlock that has the well that gives you buster damage isn't like a one shot um i wouldn't know I, I, i'm a hunter man all right so next bow we got is uh Tiku's Divination. I made a video on this bow. I love this bow. This bow right here, this bow's a C-tier bow. Okay, listen. This is a C-tier bow. But, 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 this bow can easily be S-tier, right? If you have a partner, PVE and PVP, this bow could go crazy if you have somebody else, but just based by itself, okay, by itself, I'm gonna put that as C. Honestly, that's how I feel about it. This is coming from a bow main, okay? I love bows and I'm putting that at a C because it's really not that great. If it, but if you have somebody that, that you know, if y'all tag team and one doing the light attack, other one doing the full drawn attack, that, that thing, I smack my mic. That thing can go crazy. Next bow we have is Trinity Ghoul. Now I really like Trinity Ghoul. Trinity Ghoul is probably my favorite bow in the game. If we're excluding the Le Monarch, like the Le Monarch, I, I love the Le Monarch. That's why I won't allow myself to use it. I, I feel very cheesy with the Le Monarch. That's why I don't like it. But if we're just talking about <laughs> all, you know, practicality out the window, I really like the Trinity Ghoul. It's a really, it's a super cool bow in my opinion. I really do like it. But all personal preferences aside, I mean, this is an entirely opinionated chart anyway. So if you feel like I'm, you, you disagree with my list, by all means, let me know down in the comment section. And if you think I'm missing a bow here, cause I thought I got them all in the game. Also, so let me know down in the comment section. Um, I would put Trinity Ghoul at a B tier. To be fair, once you get a kill with it, it is nice. But you know why? When you get that the uh, lightning rod, it's really not that crazy, especially in PvP, which I mainly play. In PvE, great bow. I might even put that at like A tier. But even then, it's still situational. So I'll put Trinity Ghoul like a B tier. It's nothing too crazy, honestly. Uh, let's go knock out the last uh exotic bow because the the legendary was going to be taken forever. So. This is Leviathan's Breath. Now, personally, I have never used this bow before, but I'll put this at a D tier. I'll put it at a D tier because this is the only heavy combat bow in the game. Why? What bow requires heavy ammo? That's just stupid. A heavy bow, it's stupid, and no one uses it. This is a D tier. This is this this, this thing sucks. Uh, honestly, this this is trash. Okay, now let's get into these these legendary weapons because god dang. So the first bow we we, we got up is the uh, cured redemption. Now I really wanted this bow. I never got it. You know, sad face. I know. <laughs> Hello? I never got this bow and it, this is a super dupe. Uh, it's so super dupe. This is a super dope bow. You get it from the um, Guardians of Salvation raid, if I believe. Uh, the perk pool for it, though, uh, from what I see here, um, Archer's Tempo, which is cool. Explosive Head, which is cool. I would put this in the B tier. This is a pretty solid bow all around and it's also kinetic, too. So you don't really have to substitute anything for this. I like my bows be in the kinetic slot. Uh, it's a lot of energy weapons that I like and there's not very many kinetic weapons that I like. So that's perfect for me. So I put that in the B tier. So it's, it's not too crazy. 
but it, it's it's not trash either all right next so biting winds is another bar really didn't get to use too much the accuracy is kind of high on it but not as high as the accurate redemption it's only slightly lower then because like this is a 68 and that one's a 71 so it's it's only slightly loader, uh, loader, lower rapid hit explosive head, which is also another good perk. You get swashbuckler on this. Swashbuckler on bows isn't really good though, because I mean, what's the point of having like what? It's a twenty percent damage increase, but I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make you one shot them. It's still gonna be two arrows for a kill. So, um, what else we got? We got quick draw, which is nice. Quick draw on a bow is is nice. The perk pool for this is okay. It's not the best, but it's not bad. But it doesn't come with archer's tempo which sucks and i think the cure redemption does get archer's tempo i'm gonna give this a b tier too but really actually let's 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 go ahead and edit this i'm gonna give biting winds and the cure redemption i'm gonna give this a tier i'm gonna give them both a tier bows for for what they are they are really good bows yeah i'm gonna give wish ender a a tier for its utility like its usability with the fact you can see people through walls then i should give these a tiers for for what the for what their perk pools are so that's cool so I'm, i'll give them a tier all right now next we have the fail terror diddle uh this bow automatic a tier this is my favorite bow this is my favorite legendary bow in the game the reason being is you can craft it i personally want archer's tempo and um and successful warm up but i'm going to switch mine and i'm going to put archer's tempo and um and explosive head on it these are a tier these bows are all a tier for me so that a tier instantly oh god i'm gonna butcher this one's name okay this one's the loon the is it the luna lotta 4b god damn I, I cannot read bro oh my okay so this is a this is a lightweight frame bow as you, if i'm reading the archetype for the bow the odds me using are very fucking low its accuracy is a fucking 25 god damn that's bad that's uh, that's really bad but most of these lightweight frame bows have really low accuracy but it has really high aim assist which is cool so i don't think this comes with archer tempo or anything does it honestly the bow doesn't come on archer's tempo that's a downside for me it has a sense of warm-up though i'm gonna give this bow a, a, a good old the, i'm really debate if i should put it in c or d I, i'm gonna put it in d i, I think this bow is trash i, I honestly I, I think this bow is trash I, I i don't see why anyone would use this especially if if you can go craft you one that's way better why with the fail why would you even use that shit all right so no turning back another bow i never used before kinetic already a, 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 a thumbs up for me uh it's a precision frame so it's gonna have a lot of the higher draw time of 684 but it's actually a 68 so i i don't know to put this bow i really don't know what you let me know down in the comment section you know all, all my fellow believers because i don't know much about this bow i really don't know uh i'm i'm gonna leave that one alone because i really don't know anything about it I, I i never had it before it's like i said it's way before my time so i don't know let me, let me skip that one all right the spiteful fame another bow never used it fuck decent impact terrible accuracy like all lightweight frames okay 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 this one has archer's tempo this one comes with rampage explosive head that's dope that's dope mm, the spiteful thing i don't know i think really is biggest downside because the purple is straight the biggest downside is that accuracy being so damn low so maybe if you get like it and this also comes with like an accuracy um master where if you get that accuracy up this seems like it'll be a pretty this seemed like it, this would have been a pretty solid bow because i'm pretty like i win this thing come out it said black armory so this is like a while ago so you can't use this anymore again they let me know in the comments because I, I didn't cover it I, I didn't get to play with any of these bows so it's a lot of stuff i missed i know i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna give it the b tier i'm gonna give it the c tier i'm gonna give this one the c tier i i think really it's that accuracy that is the big trade-off at what is it 30 it's pretty bad and i don't think this amos is very high either for the other lightweight bows this amos is pretty low so i'm gonna give this one a c tier i mean for pvp P, P, it could be straight but i never really ran rampage on the bow before that's not really my for that's not really my thing now the next bow this one was that was my main bow i used to really become a believer the whispering slab now my whispering slab roll i had swashbuckler on it and i thought that bow was amazing i swear that i swear to my life that that bow was crazy for me and it really wasn't now i maybe if it, i don't know if that they stack maybe if you had swashbuckler and you're running like a damage um a damage rip or something like that maybe it might be able to one shot somebody one shot somebody in the head i feel like it would i'm not i'm not a warlock i don't know my biggest complaint why i'm gonna put this bow where i'm gonna put it is this shit's accuracy is ass like it, it is really bad and has and i think his aim assist is aim assist at 75 which is which is low but it's not as low as the last one that, that we just seen so it is perk pool isn't bad it still comes with archer's tempo killing wind um swashbuckler like mine range finder it, that's not really the issue i just don't really care for this bow this bow is what got me into bows in general but i still think that this bow sucks 
like to be honest it's, it's not a good bow for really anything i know some people might disagree with me but again this is you know if you do let me know down in the comment section i don't really care for this bow though like really i really don't care for it too much so because of that i'm gonna give this bow a solid uh, d tier i fucking hate this bow this bow is trash I, I don't like this bow now the arsenic bite the arsenic bite was cool it was not a lightweight i my, my favorite archetype of bow i probably should have said that to begin with my favorite archetype of bow is actually is a, is a lightweight frame I, I like those bows most of them are, well a handful of them are kinetic most of these bows are actually energy this one is an energy bow and i don't care for any energy bows because again there's a lot of better options to go with the energy route if you know i'm going i i like <laughs> you know me my whole like gimmick is to do like the whole like no gun related weapons in my kit but before i was doing that i would like you know team up a bow with like i don't know like a shotgun or like something like that and the energy weapons were always a better route than using a kinetic weapon so having a bow take an energy slot was kind of stupid like I, i'm already using a bow like i, I don't want to have to be down on both ends at least at the time now i don't care but at the time that, that that's how i felt um this bow does come on archer's tempo explosive head and sneak bow i don't like that perk sneak bow that perk, that perk is trash explosive head is really what it is and it also comes with, with quick draw too and they also and i think it might be one of the only bows that comes with dragonfly so maybe if you have like dragonfly with yeah explosive head dragonfly i, I that'd be a pretty cool combination but that would be a cool role to, to try out um again never really use this bow like that but off the perk pool it, it, it's straight i'll give a c tier next bow is the hush again another bow i I never gonna use this looking bow. I, I, it sucks, man. It's a lot of stuff I missed. It's a lot of stuff. The hush. So I heard a lot of good things about this one though. Its impact and its accuracy are are, are on the higher end. I, I think this is still pretty low for a precision frame though, especially compared to like the redemption. You know, it's a seventy one. So it, it, okay, like, like they're pretty much on par with each other. Okay, okay. Um, don't know what the perk pool for this one is either. Like, there's really no information on it um again another bow i might have to skip because i never used it man that sucks um y'all gonna let me know in the comment section how, how this bow was because I'm, I'm not sure i didn't know how you even get it is this a it says the drifter so would you get this from um playing uh i can't think of that game mode right now i hate it so much i can't even think of it but yeah i, I get is that how you get this bow i'm not sure oh gambit that's what it's called gambit yeah so let me know down in the comment section how was this bow not sure i'm about to skip this one i never used it all right the imperial needle i got this one recently uh, as perk pool is it does get archer's tempo and this one also gets wash buckler this one also has quick draw which is cool especially for another lightweight frame bow um again my biggest kind of turn off is the fact that it's an energy bow like i guess i don't really care for those too much but i don't know I, I i've heard a lot of good things about it when i got my fail i really didn't do anything else how I, I felt like i got like the perfect one for me frenzy on a bow could be good i don't know at 15 percent damage increase is kind of trash but a 50 reload a 50 and a 50 to reload might not be that bad though since that's a warmer about the fastest a draw time could possibly be reduced to and with, uh, with the light ray frame, I think what my fails draw times like a 612, like any other lightweight frame. So I think it gets goes all the way down to what, like, is it even a six anymore? Is it like a five something? I don't know. But uh, again, Imperial and the Imperial Needle is okay. Um, I'll put that in another C tier bow. Okay, so next bow we got is the point of stag. Now, this bow, uh, I I seen it used a lot. Again, I'm not too familiar with, with how good it is simply because again I, I i didn't i didn't play destiny around this time this is like when like what like the steel feather repeater and all other stuff came out too like a bunch of guns i really wish i got but i never got them you know because if it's rep I, i've heard a lot about this bow for its rep i'll give the point of the stag i'll give the point of stag an a tier i might not have used it but a lot of y'all have and in, in his heyday it, it was really like that and then even in base crucible i still see people running around with the point of the stag all right next one we got is the strident whistle i don't think i've ever gotten this bow at all now nah, i think about it i don't think i've ever gotten this bow so this bow comes with archer's tempo and it also comes with a of warm-up and you can get a draw time masterwork which is already smelling of a tier so it, it, it smells like it deserves a tier so really with those two perks alone the fact that yeah, you can get a draw time masterwork on it and is and this bow doesn't require you to get it from any sort of raid i'm gonna put this bow a tier this is a pretty solid ass bow next we have subtle calamity perk pool includes quick draw dragonfly rampage archer's tempo this bow seems pretty solid but again since they sunsetted i never got to use it this is way before my time yeah i'll get subtle calamity b tier it, it, it seems pretty solid and if that's the case if i'm gonna get that 
B tier. I think I, I might need to up Imperial Needle to B tier too, honestly. Yeah, so I, I'll give both of those B tier. I'm, I'm gonna go back on that one. <laughs> All right, next one we got Val. Never, is this a Crucible bow? They had a Crucible bow? Okay, this is a lightweight frame. My favorite archetype. Okay, okay, let's see what perks it has though. It seems overall pretty decent. So I'll give this, I'll give the Val, I'll give the Val a, a C. I'll give it a C tier. It, it, it seems like it's decent, but not the best thing in the world. So I'll give I'll give this C. It's not a D tier. Like these if these three bows in D tier, ass. I, I fucking hate all of them. But, but these, these are, these are okay. The exception of, of, of Tiku, because Tiku is really an S. But next what we got is the Tyranny of Heaven. Another bow I didn't get a chance to use. I, I'm telling you, this is going to be an active thing here, okay? I, I'm sorry. I, I I just came a little late. I'm the main one pushing for it, but I, I didn't get to use a lot of it. Did, if you don't blame me for that, I'm sorry. Um, The perk pool is pretty cool. Archer's Tempo, Explosive Head are already looking good. Moving Target. Um, His accuracy is a fucking 27 which is really bad oh my god like that's really bad okay it comes with rampage um i mean I, who would really be hit farming with bows but i wouldn't want snapshot as a perk i'm i'm, I'm good i uh, this bow looks worse than the um arsenic bite honestly and mostly breaking these bows for pvp and this bow looks like it's really trash in pvp so we're gonna go ahead and and, and put the tyranny of heaven we're gonna go ahead and put that in the d tier this bow looks like it's garbage it looks really cool though for 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 looks you know, it looks like a cool bow, but this bow is trash. Under your skin. Now this bow right here, this bow right here, I was gonna go for this bow over the fell until I seen that it was energy. I was like, God damn it. But yeah, this this bow, you ain't have to tell me. This bow is solid. This is a solid ass bow. Perk pool is pretty solid too. You can get Archer's Tempo. You can get Successful Warm Up. You can get Explosive Head. You can get Dragonfly. Come on now, it's like the Holy Trinity, but then you add the fourth one. Like, perfect bow, honestly, perfect bow. This bow for sure, I will get the under his, under his skin for what it is. I really want to give it the S tier. I, I really do. This is a really good bow, but you can't craft it. Mm, so I'm going to give that shit the A tier. It, it's a really good ass bow, though. And on top of that, also like the draw time master. Yeah, it's a it's a solid ass bow. Next is the wolf tone draw. <laughs> In my recent video, someone actually killed me with this bow. This, this bow is straight. Yeah, I don't really think this bow is really for PV pvp i i really don't i don't think it's i don't think it's a, it's a good pvp bow most of these bows are are better like most of these bows i put in this a tier or like if i put like b tier most of these bows will be good in pve but i'm really looking at them for for the pvp side which is why they, they kind of landed so low for me um so yeah i would put wolf tone draw i i would put this one at like a at like a c i, I don't think it's any good and it's energy too, so that's a knock on, and that's not a very good thing for me. I put this shit C tier. I don't really fuck with it like that. But lastly, we have the Halus Four, um, no, precision frame, six five accuracy, which is low. Uh, it's it, it's a it's a blue bow. Um, what do you want me to say? It, it's a fucking blue bow. So for my two remaining, the Hush, the No Turning Back, I'm gonna go back, and, and we're gonna really look at these two because I want to see. I want to put them on. I don't. I don't, I don't want to leave them out. So I'm gonna use you. I'm gonna use you guys as a way for me to kind of figure this out. So again, going back, looking at the perks, I just don't see the hush being a good weapon for PvP. I just don't. I don't see why this would be a good weapon for PvP. But again, I I, I can't really see from the perks. Like I, I I don't really know. So for these last two, I'm gonna leave those up to you. I don't know. But the rest of the, the of the chart. I would say I, I agree with this. If you disagree with my list, if you disagree with my, with my tier list, by all means, let me know down in the comment section. But the rest of these bows, that, that's just how I feel about them. If you disagree with them, by all means, let me know down in the comment section. All that being said, being your boy, it's been your bow master horizon, and this is my bow tier list. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and share it, and also consider subscribing. Thanks for 100 subs. I really appreciate it. All that being said, being your boy horizon. Sign out. Peace.